again on the very fringes of the Garazone system, but its mass seems to have undergone considerable shrinkage since its last reported appearance. All indications are that Protea is at present a minimal concern to space navigation. Now, getting out more suits. What? Oh, yeah. Don't look so nervous, Digley. You're spoiling my fun. I'm sorry, I was just working out what I was going to say at the disciplinary hearing. When we get caught... The eternal optimist, aren't you? I can't see why you're so confident in Because things. it's a foolproof plan, Digley. What's that? Don't panic. It'll be the Garazon Space Patrol. Bang on time. Garazon Space Patrol to cargo loader Silver Jackal. Respond, please, Silver Jackal. Silver Jackal, go ahead. Uh, didn't you know this is a junking zone for space debris? Yeah, sorry. We had an engine fault which boosted us off course. All fixed now. We'll be moving over the boundary as soon as we can. You're right. You should be okay. No scrap ships in your area at the moment. Good. We wouldn't want to be mistaken for scrap, would we? Call us if you need any help. We're moving on. And there they go. We've got a whole sector to ourselves. Wish us to point out that even though Protean's progress has proved unpredictable, no official warning of navigational disruption has been issued. I've got something on the scope. Long range. Magnify. There she is. The biggest star destroyer you're ever likely to see. <laughs> They don't make them like that anymore. Why haven't any of the scrap ships tried to take it? Because it's too big and scrap ship captains are small-minded. Takes someone with a little intuitive skill to take on this baby. Right, pull us alongside and we'll suit up. Are you sure? We have really? to check the merchandise before we liberate it. Right, let's get this airlock door open. Hand me the jigger. Oh, here. Careful! You wouldn't want to have to go out spacewalking and pick it up again, would you? No. No, sorry. Right. Now just calm down. I don't believe it. It's still pressurised. It isn't the air. We're going to sell. <laughs> this is better than I'd hoped for. I bet all those lovely weapon systems are in perfect condition. Those squaddies in Orion will give anything for high-class equipment. We're going to make a killing. What was that? We disturbed the air a bit. Probably a door banging shut. Oh, yeah. Look, I don't like this, Thinnis. Just because it's a bit dark? Don't worry. I'll get the lights working for you before we start taking this place apart. Come on. Oh, no. Look, that's it. There's something in here with us. I've heard about Shut all the... you. You're committed to this little job now. You were keen enough when all you could see was a load of money to get you out of your boring little scrap ship navigator's job. Now, come on! I'm not moving! You will if I start shooting at you. Look, old spaceships make noises. This isn't one of your cheap churn-out-in-a-hurry stuff they make today. This was made when they built them to last. So? So? The hull's probably adjusting to our way. What? Didn't you do physics? Look! I told you there was something is coming straight out to shoot it! Oh, oh, God. What? Run for it! Back to the airlock before... No! Rhea, where are we supposed to be carrying him? I don't know. Oh, he seems to have gone unconscious again. Doctor... Well, he's getting heavier, that's for sure. Doctor, where Conserving are energy, mental reserves. Turn left. Is this it? Put me down, please. Oh. Where are we? Dimensional laboratory. Dimensional... I must construct a new zero room. Please, go. We can't just leave you here, Doctor. I don't think Take you Take him back I... to the console room, Rhea. Are you sure you'll be all right? Please, Rhea. You... You know I can only fight... this... alone. What? Fight what? Come on, Truman. But do what's he gonna... I thought the shadows had gone. Something invading my mind. Like a death knell. Sargol.
well, yes, in a way. Look, have you ever heard of Sargol, Truman? Sargol? No. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does ring a bell. From my college days. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah. A couple of my mates dropped out with it. Oh, and you were the one who regretted not dropping out. Well, there's no way I'd have taken that stuff. Hey, you're not saying the doctor's on Sargol. It was forced on him by... a very evil man. And the doctor's been taking it ever since. He must have a strong metabolism. I'd never have known. No, he hasn't been taking it. That's just the point. He's been fighting the withdrawal symptoms. Well, when did all this happen? Just after I first met him. Why? Well, you've been together quite some time. If he's managed to resist it this long, why can't he go on resisting it? The effect must have diminished by now. You're right, Truman. It's as if something else is diverting his mental reserves. Let's hope this new zero room thing he's making will put everything back into balance. My revenge on you will be all consumed. Pray this works. In her peace at last. Oh, you may have heard the last of me, <laughs> Doctor. I think I've beaten you, Raiden. But you have not felt the last. I think I have. What's that? Are we landing? No, I don't think so. You look lost. I am. Whatever's happening, it's getting worse by the sound of it. It's the force field, the helmet regulators, the temporal guidance, everything. Well, shouldn't you go and get the doctor? Well, I suppose this is an emergency. Oh. It's getting dark. What is it? I don't know. A time distortion or... You're glowing. It's going right through me. Now what? It's my turn. Don't worry. It isn't stopping. I think it's just scanning you. Perhaps it's a higher form of life trying to say hello. Uh, hello? Truman? Truman! Where have you gone? <laughs> so, so he said, well, you can log that one for a start. <laughs> <laughs> so I can... What do you reckon on the new captain? Well, uh, she wears her uniform well, Volme, old mate. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit, uh, a bit high-powered for this sort of job, don't you think? Well, I have no complaints. Maybe she had an argument with someone on the Star Corps executive. And got demoted to serving on the Vanguard, you mean? <sighs> well, that woman was not born to scrap space debris. Whereas, uh, we were. Well. We're destined for greater things, Vol. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Your fault locator hasn't registered a malfunction on the space scope terminal in my office, has it? What's she on about? Er, uh, uh, no, uh, Captain Jensen. Uh, everything's fine. I thought not. So I'm not wrong in thinking we've just entered the Garazone system, then? Uh, no, uh, you're not wrong, uh, Captain. Then please open the scrap scoop and activate the debris detectors, for all our sakes. Yes, uh, Captain. R right away. Sorry, Captain Jensen. We, we must have been distracted by the... Uh, Idle conversation? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, 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 what he means is... It um, doesn't matter. It's just that I didn't want us to bump into anything. Right, expect me on the flight deck in the next few seconds. Phew. It's at times like this that I'm glad we never volunteered for a life of action and adventure in the Orion system. We could have just got ourselves shot for criminal negligence. Blimey. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It... Oh, look. Look at that ball! Is that for scrapping? It's enormous! Looks like a dead star destroyer. I I've seen him in my book of... Evasion maneuvers! We're going to hit! What the hell's going on? You've got us at full reverse thrust. We're trying to avoid that. A warship? Stabilised gyro vectors. Have we made it? I don't know, Captain. <sighs> I thought we'd had it. Only minimal damage to the hull, Captain. Good. Bring us around so we drift with that thing. I want to size it up. You're not thinking of dealing with something that big. Are you, Captain? I don't know. I think I might send a recon crew out there. 
see what's inside. Oh, they won't like that, Captain. They should resign if they don't like their jobs. No, no, it, it's just that it's standard practice for recon parties not to enter junk ships. That isn't in their contracts. Well, uh, no, but when... I'm new to this job, Bowl. I think I'd like to try a new approach. Besides, that ship out there may look dead, but its hull's intact. We don't want to start breaking it up if there are survivors inside, do we? I'm sorry I interrupted you, Doctor, but... You were right to. Just a few seconds in the Zero environment has doubled my mental reserves. You should have roused me as soon as this phenomenon entered the TARDIS. I didn't want to. Well, I feel responsible... For the actions of Raiden. Just you forget that nonsense, Rhea. I'm a little under the weather at the moment, but I do believe the new Zero room has put me back into shape. <laughs> well, for the time being. Now, let's set about recovering our mutual friend, Mr. Crouch. It's as if he was chosen. It scammed me, and then it went to him. And you say the Helmic regulators were influenced as well? Everything was, yes. It's a long shot. But perhaps they have left in them the secrets of Truman's whereabouts. I shan't set any new coordinates. I'll use whatever the disturbance left behind in the regulators. Now, that shouldn't take long. Any idea of what it might have been? Well, it sounds as though it was looking for someone. It checked you, didn't want you, but took Truman. But why? Maybe it wanted somebody human. Possibly, possibly. Or perhaps it wasn't that complex. Perhaps it wanted the mail. It may be egotistical of me, but have you considered that it might have been me it wanted? <laughs> oh dear. I see the airlock still hasn't opened. I bet the recon crew are dragging their feet about boarding that thing. <laughs> yeah. Captain Miss Diva Jansen has got a bit of a job on her hands. It's a great, huge thing, isn't it? What? Oh, the Star Destroyer. Yeah. Looks about a crew running into the thousands. It makes you wonder why it's never been sighted before. Maybe it has been. Remember, we haven't done this route before. Let's have a gander. Here. What are you doing? But that, that, that's commander access only. What she don't see, she don't know about. Right. Star destroyer. Derelict sightings. Off. The point is, I don't see why we have to go aboard this star destroyer anyway. It's too big for scrapping for a star. Exactly. The point is that there's nothing in any of your contracts that stops you going aboard drifting spacecraft. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Derelict spaceships are death traps. Chewed on bulkheads with razor sharp edges could tear right through your Atmos suit. There is no indication of any hull damage to the ship. There's probably still an atmosphere in it. Like Travis says, it's too big for scrapping anyway. I'm the captain. Let me decide that. Now please, we're wasting time. If you don't go over there and make our claim legal, we could lose it. There'll be bonuses all round if we pull this one in. If we're alive to collect the money. What do you mean? I've got a friend who really? works at... Space Patrol HQ in the mall. Oh, that's nice. Shut up, Chevin, listen. Not long back, they brought two bodies in. Smashed up pretty bad. What had happened to them? He never found out. Security stepped in, very hush-hush. Know anything about it, Mum? It was mentioned in my pre-flight report. But it's hardly relevant. Those men were found in an entirely different sector. I suggest we stop listening to ghost stories and start thinking about the bonus money. All right, Captain. But any hint of trouble over there, and we're straight back. I'll monitor your progress on the control deck. Keep in constant contact. Come up with anything? Hold on a sec. Bingo! You'll have your vitals for this, Ike. What's it say? Star Destroyer. And it shows the design configuration. Same one? Yep. Sightings reported by scrapships Intrepid, Magenta and Bulldog and none of them took her on. Too big. That's right. Uh, reference, Garrison Space Patrol Report E-200. What the hell's that? Oh, God. I've come up against a high-priority security block. I'd have to get down to the central terminal to break this one. Well, turn it off. <sighs> God for that. Is this a hobby of yours, Ike? Uh, well, uh, because it's a very dangerous hobby. Well? What were you doing? Well, uh, he, he was checking the systems, ma'am. Uh, maintenance and all. Let Ike speak for himself. Uh, like he says, Captain, I would check in the systems. I'm a reasonable person. 
as no doubt you have observed. Matters of petty discipline are not of interest to me. I prefer to get the job done. Yes, ma'am. But don't take me for a fool. No, ma'am. That computer terminal is commander access only. I salute your ingenuity in breaking in successfully. Thank you, I... What were you trying to find out? Uh, I, I was curious about... about the Star Destroyer. Wondered why you... Well, I wondered why you were so keen on bringing it in. I would have thought that was pretty obvious. Ma'am? For the money. That's usual, isn't it? Perfectly normal, wouldn't you say? Er... Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Captain. Good. Now get back to your station. We've got a recon crew to monitor. Communication online, Captain. Let's hear it. Crash here, Captain. We're just entering the Star Destroyer airlock now. Secure the door. Door secured. Dark, isn't it? Recon to Vanguard. Vanguard. We're in. Atmosphere check. Positive. Helmets off. Oh, that's a bit stale. Definitely breathable. I gathered that. What's that? Vanguard. Vanguard, go ahead. We think we heard something moving about. What do you mean? There, there it is again. Right, that's it. Helmet on. Get the door open. What the hell are you doing? I told you, Mum. First sign of trouble. Just get on with your job. I'm sorry, Captain. A double bonus says it was just a door banging shut. What do you say, Chev? Charva? She could be right. Double bonus. All right, then. Congratulations. This is going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Which is why you're going to stay here. What? Well, there's no guarantee he'll be out there, wherever there's going to be. Come to think of it, I ought to wear an atmosphere suit. Just so before. I've got to stay here on the off chance he rematerializes. And there's no telling what state he might be in if he does. Here, take this. A communicator. And I'll have the other one. We'll keep in touch. All looks pretty much the same to me. I just wish we could find some way of putting the lights on. Wait a minute. Crash to Vanguard. Vanguard here. What's the matter? Frightened of your own shadow? We could be going round in circles here for all we know. Haven't you got any kind of layout guide to this thing in your pre-flight report? Listen a minute. Listen. What? What now? What, didn't you hear it? What? Well, a... a noise. I didn't. Pull yourself together, Chev. Crash, I don't think I can help you. Remember the configuration diagram on the computer? What's that? Pilot Ike has been breaking security regulations. I'm sorry, Captain. It just come out. Good old Ike. How's life up there with the top brass? <laughs> All right. What's this configuration thing you're on about? Well... Well, tell him. Well, it's not that detailed, but uh, it's better than now. Can you beam it across? Yes, we'll beam it across. Open your computer terminal and stay where you are. All right, Ike. You might as well do it. At least we'll have a better idea of what we've got ourselves into. What's the matter with you, Chev? I told you, I heard something. Probably just another door. No, it was different. A, a, a sort of grinding noise. Like a gnashing of teeth. Oh, shut up, Charva. Well, I've got to stay here to receive this configuration thing on the computer. You two, take a look. Hey? Oh, go on. There's two of you. You're armed. Get on with it. Here it comes. Three-dimensional computer information. Some kind of spaceship. Atmosphere a bit stale. But it seems all right. Uh, lucky I put this spacesuit on. What an instinct. Scanner on, Rhea. Scanner on. What's the matter? High definition, three-dimensional data transmission. From where? Another spaceship. Whatever it is, the scanner doesn't like it. Well, I can't see anything. Well, I wasn't hearing things. I thought you said... Oh, you know what I mean. All right, then. Let's split up. What? Keep your communicator on and your gun loaded. Still no luck? No, I can't see anything. Hang on. What? I'll see if I can tune in on the transmission. Uh, let's see. Um, there we are. Three-dimensional drawing. Of a spaceship. Found anything, Charva? No, you. Nothing. What was that? Sounds closer to you. I think it is. Probably that door noise again. Yeah. I wish the owners had shut the doors behind them. I don't like this, Charva. Neither do I. That one was closer to me. Let's get back to Crash. Oh, no. What the hell was that? I don't want to find out. Come on. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I found something. I think it's moving towards you. 
blue box. What? I have found a blue box. Forget your blue box and get out of there. Right. What the? What? Ah! Chef! What's that noise? Tune back to the scanner. Still nothing. What on earth is happening out there? Quickly, get the door open. But, Doctor, you can't... Open it! Someone's in trouble out there. It could be Truman. Wait a minute, the picture's clearing. A dead body. Open those doors. Thank you, Vanguard. We'll be able to find our position Crash! Crash! It's Jeff. I think something's happened to him. What do you mean? What on earth's happening over there? Trouble. Follow my signal, Crash. Good grief, this is terrible. What is it, Doctor? Is it Truman? No, I don't think so. It's hard to tell, but Truman wasn't wearing a spacesuit when he was taken, was he? This poor fellow was. He's been killed by... by something immensely strong and vicious. Whatever it was might still be about. You'd better come back inside. No. Truman might be out here somewhere. We don't want the same thing to happen to him, do we? Doctor, you've got company. Stay where you are or I'll shoot. Oh, dear. Uh, I, I can see that you might jump to the wrong... Crash? Place. Have you found Chip? Yeah, I found his body and the murderer. I've got Ike with me and we're both armed. Have you got the body? What's left of it? Stand by. Opening now. Ike, help Trava take the body to the lab. Is this the murderer? Not very impressive, am I? And certainly not strong enough to do that to anyone. Shut up. Who are you? I'm a traveller. I'm known as the Doctor. He was found with the body. What were you doing in the Star Destroyer? Looking for a friend. Truman Crouch, have you seen him? What would your friend be doing aboard that ship? I don't know. Probably running away from whatever murdered your comrade. Uh, Captain Jensen, uh, come in, please. What is it, Vol? Oh, uh, I'm not sure, ma'am. I've picked up some kind of freak transmission on the internal security monitor. Where's it coming from? Uh, airlock reception. Where you are. Grash, search him. Right. Oh, be careful. Do you mind? What's this? That's my communicator, and it isn't switched on. We'll soon make sure of that. Vandal. Try to restrain yourself, Grash. That device might have given us some clues. I I'm still picking up the transmission, Captain. What's that? What? Stay where you are, Doctor. No, I thought I saw something moving over there on the floor. It it's gone now. What What did it look like? There's nothing there. He was just trying to confuse... The transmission the... source is moving rapidly. Where to? Uh, it stopped. Fascinating. What's the matter with you now? Look, down here on the floor. Just watch it. It's all right, Grash. Let him go on. What is it that's so fascinating, Doctor? Can't you see? Here. Yes. Leading from inside the airlock, over the ridge of the door seal, and off over there where I said I saw something. Scratch marks? Yes. Very slight, very small. Made by something compact and quite heavy. But I didn't see anything. Neither did I. It was very quick and very quiet. I just happened to see it. Oh, where's all this getting us? There's been a murder. We caught this individual red-handed. We should be going back to HQ, not standing here talking about the state of the floors. I'm afraid I don't think it's that simple, Grash. Chev's body was... Virtually pulverized. Yes. And I just can't believe this man is responsible. I grant you he's got a lot of answering to do. But I'm not prepared to abandon our chances of making the biggest haul in the history of salvaging. He could be an android. A genetic construct on the run from the Orion War. They're crazy enough. And strong enough to tear a man to pieces. He isn't an android. How do you know? Because there aren't any outside Orion. And that's light years away. What's the matter with the lights? Vol, what's going on? Uh, localized power feed disruption in your area. Boost to compensate. I'll activate a couple of emergency batteries. It isn't making any difference. Uh, let's put it over here. On the analysis table. All right. All right. <sighs> Poor Chev. Yeah. And it could just as easily have been me. You reckon that block did it? I found him over the body. Who oh. saw the light? Vol. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Why aren't your lights working? I don't know, mate. All I do know is that it's spreading. Just sit tight. Captain. Captain. It's spreading all over the ship. I've cut in all the emergency batteries, but the power just doesn't seem to be getting through. Can you isolate the fault? Uh, well, I, I don't know, ma'am. I've, I've started in your section, but, uh, I, 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 I,
Shots have started. Damn. Is there some kind of junction box near here? There are maintenance hatches all over the ship. There should be one in the corridor. Can you show me? Yes. What are you doing, Captain? He's obviously... Can't be responsible for this, can I? Even if you do think I'm some kind of transmogrifying monster who suddenly assumes the strength of ten men, I don't see how you can possibly deduce that I'm causing this power disruption. It's this way, Doctor. Here. Look at that. A hole cut in the hatch. And look here, leading to it. More of those scratches. But wouldn't we have seen a flash or something if someone had shot a hole in Not the... if that someone was extremely small and the weapon was some kind of incredibly high-intensity laser. Yes, it's still warm. Uh, Captain, have you a key to open this? Yes. Here. Thank you. Now, uh, where's that torch of mine? Ah, there we are. Yes, you see? The impact of the beam has melted these upper cables. Some of them are still molten. Now, what have we got lowered down there? Yellow and black cable? Life support. Well, that's been left well alone. Which is interesting. Why? Well, because if our intruder has a high-intensity weapon, it could have easily severed the life support. You mean it doesn't want to kill us? Well, how come the power disruption is spreading? Whatever it was must be moving fast. Whenever it gets to a new hatchway, it must employ its laser weapon. And burn through another section's power cables. But where is it heading? I don't know, but we're going to the control deck. Use your personal communicator, Grash. Tell Ike and Charva to meet us there. I must have been mad agreeing to stay here. Hello, Doctor. Come in, Doctor. Are you receiving me? Nothing. Vol, is there any way you can find out where the intruder is heading? Uh, well, uh, I suppose one of us could go prodding around in the infrastructure with a big stick and a torch, but apart from that, no. I've got no power for the security scan. Ninety percent of the ship's lighting is blanked out. The interspace transmitter's dead. Where the hell has this thing come from? That's what I want to know. I would have thought that was obvious. Oh, blimey, it's dark out there. What's he doing here? Oh, I'm your scapegoat. You'll be a dead scapegoat if you don't shut up. In which case you'll be on trial for murder, Grash. Yeah, I mean, what proof have you got that he killed Chev? He don't look anywhere near big enough, and he hasn't got any blood on him. I'm inclined to agree, Ike. On top of which, I think you'll find that I'm extremely helpful. Yeah. And modest. So where has this thing in the infrastructure come from? So are you and, uh, uh, Charver, is it? Yes. Are we what? Well, you haven't changed your spacesuits since you've got back, have you? No. Crash? No. What are you getting at? Uh, let me see. Could you turn around so we could see your backpack? Oh, Captain, are you going to allow this show? Do up? as he says. We'll keep an eye on him. In case I transmogrify. Yes, very sturdy metal backpacks. No, nothing on you, Charla. Ah, but Grash, quite a different story, you see, Captain? Scratch marks again. Eh? The visiting card left by our intruder. It stuck to your backpack whilst you were on the Star Destroyer, then dropped off on this ship when it thought no one was looking. It must have been quite small. And now it's whirling its way around amongst the power cables. Oh, well, we've got to find out what it's doing and stop it. I think I might be able to help there. How's that? Well, I'm rather good with gadgetry. I should imagine it wouldn't be too difficult to reroute some of the power through the life support cables so that we can get your security facilities working. Could that work, Ike? Not without depleting the life support system. There must be areas of the ship that aren't in use. Storage bays, equipment stores, that sort of thing. We could cut the life support to them and divert that power to the security scan. The bloke's got a point, Captain. Then give him all the help you can. Right. Um, well, we'll have to go down to the maintenance. Lead the way, Ike. I'll come to keep an eye on him. Well, Captain? Something bothering you, Grash? You're letting a complete stranger tamper with the workings of the ship. You refuse to return to base when we're obviously facing a problem that is clearly a matter for the Garrison Space Patrol. We can't call for help, Grash. Besides, I think we can deal with this problem ourselves. The first thing is to get back aboard that Star Destroyer. How many more people are going to have to die? Uh, can you get me a bit more power, Ike? Oh, aye, Doctor. I could shut down the lab. Suppose Chev won't be needing any more air? No. What were you doing on that ship, Doctor? Discovering, not murdering your poor friend. As a matter of fact, I'd like to get back to the Star Destroyer as soon as possible. One of my friends may be in great danger. Ah! There we are, Ike. Ah, that's it, Doctor. Security scan is back online. What... What do you think it is? 
Over there on the ship. Something pretty nasty and something to do with our miniature friend out here, I warrant. Any sign of it, Ike? Aye. I picked up something at the stern of the ship. It's transmitting again. Security scans picking up that thing again. The doctor's as good as his word, it seems. And it's transmitting again. Where to? The Star Destroyer. Have you just found out what we have? I think so. Captain, I must get back to the Star Destroyer. I'm very perturbed about this. There we are, Grash. One volunteer already. Anyone care to join us? I beg your pardon? I want to get this mystery out of the way so we can get on with our job, Doctor. But it seems that Grash has got cold feet about fulfilling his contract. I'm not going back aboard that ship with something there waiting to do to me what it did to Chill. Me neither. So you do accept that I'm not the murderer? The only thing I'm prepared to accept is the rule that says space junk like you gets locked up. And captains, who unnecessarily endanger their crew, get relieved of command. As of now. Put the gun down, Grash. Shut up. I'm working by the book here. I think he's right, Captain. Ike, Vol, to your stations. Engage main drive and get us out of here. Hello, Grash. I don't know how you feel about Chev, but can we all just talk Shut about... Shut up. Do as you're told. All right. You say so. Vol? Well, I'm, I'm not looking to get shot. Powering up boosters. Now. What is it? I don't know. Oh, no response. Look at the security scan. That thing's got to your engines. So much for the mutiny. I take it you've no objection to our going aboard the Star Destroyer? You and the Doctor can do what you like. But I'm going to have those engines repaired as soon as possible. And we won't be sending over any rescue parties for your bodies. Why didn't you come over here the first time? Not my job, Doctor. But you're here now. What an oddly determined captain you are. You think I'm odd? I take it you're some kind of salvage outfit. You must be very determined to make money. Are you in debt? No. And yet you're prepared to face that... whatever it is lurking in here, just to make a killing? The bonus will make it worth my while. Really? I hope for both of our sakes that your formidable-looking weapon does the trick. It should do. I had it made to certain specifications you know i must confess i'm a little scared i wouldn't have expected that from you doctor you hardly know me i thought i knew this old ship like my own mother but i think we've taken the wrong turning vol it all looks different in the dark better call it grash i like to control deck come in grash what is it are we heading in the right direction? I can't see a damn thing down here. The engine room is directly ahead of you. What about that, uh, that, uh, thing? It's still there, and still transmitting. Keep your gun handy when you go in. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Come on, Vol. Here we go. What's that? Must be that thing. Transmitting. Shine the torch over there. I think I can see something. Oh, blimey! What were you and your friends doing on the ship? Oh, well, uh, it's a very long and involved story. It was. Look! It's a Cyberman! A rogue Cyberman! Aim your weapon at his chest! Look out, Doctor! Are you all right, Doctor? The thing caught me on the head. Do I look all right? Well, you're in better shape than the Cyberman. Mm. 
Oh yeah, let's have a look at it. What model on earth it's doing here? I thought they were supposed to be extinct. Oh, you've heard of them then? But yes, I studied galactic military history. Oh, studious. Now, let's get this faceplate open. Interesting. It's receiving a signal. Yes, and I'll give you two guesses as to where it's coming from. That thing on your ship is a cyber mat. You're right, Vol. Yeah. You? Doesn't like us, does it? Huh. You noticed. C can you see it? No, but it obviously knows where we are. Yes, this Cyberman has definitely been subjected to some kind of freezing process. Probably the same sort of thing that they did on Telos. <laughs> Hold it down! I thought it was dead! <laughs> Yes, it was. I mean, it is. Sorry, I was tampering with the cybernetic nervous system. That was this fellow's problem. Some sort of fault must have occurred in the refrigeration process. He must have partially awoken, with the apparent result that his motor functions had no proper controls. He went rogue. Then the signal from the Cybermat didn't wake him. No, that came later. Which all points to the fact that there are other Cybermen still frozen on this ship. At least we haven't seen any evidence of their waking up yet. Then we must find them and make sure they never wake up. Up there. It's a mobile computer terminal. Yeah, I can see that, but what's on it, Captain? Three-dimensional configuration of the ship. It was in my pre-flight report. And please stop calling me Captain. I get enough of that from my crew. Captain Jansen this, ma'am that. I really don't see why people have to be so formal. What should I call you then? Well, my name's Diva. Hello, I think I've found something. What is it? A large chamber about a hundred meters past the next intersection. Uh... Uh, keep that gun of yours handy, will you, Diva? You still there, Vol? Yeah. This this can't go on, you know. Mike? Mike? What the hell are you two up to down there? Haven't you found it yet? It found us. What is it? Difficult to tell. They've only had glimpses of it. Looked like a metal worm to me. Vol says it's like a metal worm. Just get rid of it and repair the engines. Is this it? Yes. Help me get this door open. <laughs> <sighs> Hold on a minute. This door should be power assisted. Let's see if I can activate the mechanism. Will this help? Will what? Commonly called a jigger. It's ideal for opening door mechanisms. Am I spoiling your fun, Doctor? Ready, Vol? Ready. Uh, who's going first? I will. And remember, we keep firing alternately to confuse it. Go! Keep firing, Vol! I 
think I got it! I hate to spoil your fun, Diva, but your jigger isn't going to help us. Why not? Every component in this door mechanism is burnt out. It must have been some kind of massive power overload. Like an ion storm, for instance? They're pretty common in the garrison system. Yes. No wonder the refrigeration unit malfunctioned. So we've still got to haul this door open. Yes. Shoulders to the grindstone. Uh, do you think it's safe to touch it? Luke's dead. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, sounds dead. Oh, 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 oh for God's sake! Oh, oh hold on, oh, hold on. It's, it, it's only wriggling. <laughs> it's quite cute, really, isn't it? I might <laughs> agree with you. I've been trying to blow my head off a few seconds ago. Look at the mess it's made of the engines. Going right into the main drive. They must have got it by now. I'll try again. Ike? Ike, are you there? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. We got it. What's that noise? We zapped the nose right off it. Must have been where its weapon was. Pretty harmless now. <laughs> Vol's taking quite a shine. Just fix the engines, will you? Will do. Come on, Vol. It's the security scan. What's up? The airlock's just activated. Jansen and the doctor back already. Damn. I thought we could at least pin desertion of a post on that stuck-up bitch. Jam the servo. No power for the security locks. Come on. We'll get down there and put paid to any ideas she might have of getting off the hook. Can you get through now? Yes, uh, I think that should suffice. Oh, that's that dreadful smell. <coughs> it, it smells like... Like death. The airlock's pressurizing. Then stop it. It's too late. All right. Jensen, can you hear me in there? Charver and I have got the airlock door covered. So come out and put the gun down. You're still relieved of command. Nothing's changed. Never thought she'd miss a chance for a snide comment. Right. Watch her. Stay where you are. Resistance is useless. Stay back! Resistance is useless. Run for each other! Then stop it! It's too late! All right. Jensen, can you hear me in there? Charver and I have got the airlock door covered. So come out and put the gun down. You're still relieved of command. Nothing's changed. Never thought she'd miss a chance for a snide comment. Right. Watch her. Stay where you are. Resistance is useless. Stay back. Resistance is useless. That's what it's all about. A human female has escaped. There will be others on board. She will lead us to them. Activate the control device. Ah. I think that should do the trick. That's the emergency lighting circuit. Must have had extra protection against ion disruption. Good grief. This certainly isn't the freezing chamber. No. Quite the opposite. No wonder this place smelt of death. 
There must be 50 or more corpses. All of them at various stages of cyber conversion. You did study the Cybermen, didn't you? Oh, my. This is horrible. This chamber must have been fully operational when the ion storm struck. The systems failed, and all these prisoners of the Cybermen, captured to increase the cyber race, died in lingering agony, trapped in mid-operation. The human parts died, and yet the cybernetic replacements look brand new. I wonder how the process worked. The Cybermen must have set it in motion, then submitted themselves to freezing. There's another large chamber near here. Shall we take a look? signal. A human ship is drifting alongside. Its crew must be captured and converted to continue the revival program. Hey, there you go, boy. Will you <laughs> stop playing with that space rat and give me a hand? Oh, let's face it, Ike. It's a write-off. No engine's beaten me yet. Here, what's that? Ike! Vol! Have you got the engine fixed? No chance! Damn! What's the matter? Java? Where's Grash? Something from that ship! I think they've killed him! How does all this affect the prospects for your bonus, Diva? Two doors ahead, on the right. Sorry, Doctor? I think your salvage job is over. You'll have to call in the authorities. Shh! Somebody's opening the door. Manually? I can only think of one thing strong enough. A Cyberman. This door's open. In here, quick. was a cyber leader. It was heading for the conversion chamber. Let's see where it came from. Diva, listen. Look, in there. a total breakdown of the refrigeration unit. But they're reviving Cybermen individually. It must be some kind of emergency procedure. What was that? The conversion chamber door. The Cyber Leader must be coming back. Come on! Humans. They spotted us. Run! What is happening to humans on board this ship, Leader? They will be heading for the airlock. They must be stopped. Well then, they must be the creatures who, who sent us this space rat. And the ones who killed Chev. Yes, I suppose so. But look, does that matter? 
They must have come after me. Isn't there any way we can seal them off? Well, not with 90% of the power lines down. Then, what's that? There's something in the corridor. Take cover. Maybe concentrated fire from three of us will be enough to... Down! Grash, is that you? I thought you were dead. How far now? About another 200 meters. Take the next left. I've got bad news. Cybermen run faster than people. There's the airlock. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little singed. Get your helmet on and help me open the door. Is this far enough? Shut up and get in. Now let's get it shut. Oh, what? They seem to give up. But Grash, we can't go back to the airlock. That's where those creatures are. Isn't that what you said, Java? Yes. Look, Grash, are you sure? I managed to kill those two, but there are more on the way. We have to stop them. But your gun had no effect. Do you all want to die? Well, come on then. Security systems now operational. The two humans are re-entering their own ship. Our warriors will be waiting for them. You know, it won't be long before the entire cyber crew are revived. And that means we'll be in trouble. Stand by, I'm opening the inner door. Look out, Cybermen! Resistance is useless. Diva, your gun! Specifications is that made to? Captain! Doctor! Grash, I thought you said. Grash! What's the matter with him? He's out cold. Take him to his cabin. I gather the mutiny's over. What are those creatures? Cybermen. Half creature, half machine. Inhuman killers. Did you deal with the Cybermat? That like space rat? Yeah, no problem. What do you propose to do now, Diva? Oh, oh Diva, is it? Yeah. What's happened over there, eh? <laughs> we discovered a ship full of Cybermen and a chamber where they convert humans into Cybermen, which is where you'll all end up if we don't start fighting for our lives. Ike, take this jigger and jam the airlock servos. A force has been assembled, leader. They must board the human ship and capture the humans. Have you had any luck with the engines? That's what I'm trying out now. I managed to connect up a few of the gen vectors, but... I thought not. I told you it was a write-off. Where's our glorious leader? Down in the central command computer terminal. What's she doing down there? Can we find out? Well, uh, Ike's got a nice little line in command computer code cracking. Every time she's out of the room... I shouldn't tell him. He thinks she's Miss Wonderful, don't you, Doctor? I'll see what I can do. She's an intriguing person. We've had worse captains, haven't we, all? This is true. <laughs> <laughs> she's a bit touchy about that computer, though. I thought she was going to blow a fuse early when she found me out. Then, quick as you please, it's back to work and we'll say no more about it. She strikes me as... Well, not what I'd expect of a salvage captain. That was Grash's point. The moment someone gets killed, any captain should report the incident and return to base. She wants her bonus. She looks rich enough to me, never a hair out of place, and that gun must have cost her a fortune. There are alloys in it I've never seen before. I think there's a lot we don't know about your Captain Jansen. <laughs> Come up against that Space Patrol security block again, eh? No, I... It's the security scan. Someone's trying to break through the airlock. Cybermen, I'll wager. They'll never get in. I jig the servos. Oh, that won't stop them. We'd better get down there. Come on. Ike, call the captain. We'll need that gun of hers. Yeah, right. Your submission on the doctor's identity is correct. Thank you, computer. I'd have been surprised if it wasn't. Options? Captain. Captain Jansen. Damn. Yes, Ike, what is it? Cybermen trying to break in through the airlock. The doctor says we'll need your gun. Does he? All right, Ike, I'm on my way. Sounds 
like they're going to smash it open. Hmm, how very unsubtle of them. Well, what are you standing here for? I don't want to be turned into a cider then. Sorry, thinking. Uh, is there an observation port? Yes, here. Why? Open the shutter. I want to see what they're up to. All right. Aha! Doctor, what are you doing? Sightseeing by the looks of it. Yeah, uh, ma'am, uh, couldn't we just open that door and, and you could blast them with that fancy gun of yours? Too risky. There are too many Cybermen. One missed shot and we can They'll all be... They'll be through that door any second. We've got to do something. They've got some kind of contraption out there. They're unjigging the servos. <laughs> unjigging the jigging. Ha! Sounds like they've done it. They're opening the outer door. Uh... Right, everyone back. When the inner door opens, we'll open fire. Aim for their eyes. If you can temporarily disorientate them, I may be able to pick them all off with this. Doctor, what are you doing? What are these emergency controls for? Um, outer door jettison, but... Good, good. With independent battery power, too. Excellent. For use in emergencies only. Capital! But that'll give the Cybermen a clear way into the air lock. They're getting in anyway, aren't they? But if I jettison the outer door, they won't be able to close it behind them to affect repressurization. So? They don't need air? Ah, but we do. And it's us thereafter. But... But if you blow the hatch, we won't be able to use the airlock again. Why should we want to? There's only a Star Destroyer out there, and that's full of Cybermen. But what about your TARDIS? My, my TARDIS? Isn't that over there? They've got the door open. They're coming into the airlock. I'll cross that bridge after I leap. Chocks away! What are they doing now, Vol? <laughs> they don't want them right on the edge. The others are just standing there. And there they'll stay, at least until their orders change. The Cyber Force cannot proceed without depressurizing the human ship. Instruct them to await further orders. There is another way. Did your precious computer impart any inspiration, Diva? Been snooping again, Ike. What? Uh, oh, you, you stopped the Cybermen, then? I'm afraid your command terminal proved too complicated even for Ike's ingenuity. Thanks, Doctor. As a matter of fact, the computer was most forthcoming, Doctor. Yes? Analyzing all the factors, our immobility, communications, isolation, etc., it recommended we attempt to disable our aggressors. What a reckless computer. I reckon I would have been better off volunteering for the Orion War. At least you have a whole regiment to help you carry out stupid orders there. Thank you, Ike. Chava. How are the Cybermen behaving? It's Vol. Uh, they're just standing there looking at me. Do I have to keep the shutter open? Yes. I want to know the moment they try anything. Where's Charva? Uh, she went off to see how Grash was. How nice for her. Well, it appears we're safe for the time being. Now, there's something we've overlooked. What? Is Grash in the habit of collapsing? No, no, no. You see, he was shot by the Cybermen. Well, at least, that's what Charva said, but... You seem confused. What is it, Ike? Well... Then he turned up, said he'd killed those two Cybermen. He wanted us to go back to the airlock. But he hadn't killed the Cybermen. They were lying in wait for you. And if you and the captain hadn't arrived... You, Vol and Charva would have ended up just like Grash. Subjects of cyber control. Cyber control of human subject re-established. Excellent. Grash? It's Charva. Are you all right? Grash? Do you mind if I come in? Grash? Chava, where are you? I'm in Grash's room. I wanted to see... Is he there? Well, no. Has he taken his gun? Um, it isn't here. What's the matter? Find who's going to take command. He's under cyber control. Can you see him on the security scanner? I'm picking up someone heading for the airlock reception. Alert, Vol. Vol, you got trouble. The Cybermen have got control of Grash, and he's heading towards you. What? Chava, tail Grash. I'll try to intercept him before he gets to Vol. Dr. Ike, stay here. Yes, ma'am. Your captain certainly knows how to deal with an emergency. Aye. Almost as if it were her job. Uh, time for a little investigating, I think. Uh, sorry if I dropped you in it about your code cracking, Ike, but I wanted Diva to think you were the nosy one. Meaning you are, really? <laughs> I haven't started yet. What do you want to know? Show me that computer security block you came up against earlier. 
The cybermat has responded and is transmitting schematic information. Analysis! It is possible to create a secondary airlock by sealing off all the entrances to the reception area. Then that is what our human subject will do. He is responding to our instructions. Send the cybermat to assist him. Its weaponry has been destroyed. Then program it to induce cyber control. Yes, leader. <laughs> yeah, uh, Doctor, that was a Garazon Space Patrol security block, you know. Maybe you, you shouldn't... Interfere? It's my speciality. And there we are. You're in! Chava, is that you, Captain? Yes, I'm in position. Any sign of him? No, but... What? I think something's following me. Mutilated bodies discovered at airlock entrance of derelict Star Destroyer. Assailant unknown. Unknown. It was that rogue Cyberman. Diva knew all this. She knew it was that ship. And she still sent a team aboard. What? Not a security block. Tellurian Security, Orion Classification D7, Most Secret. Why did you switch it off? I didn't. It just shut itself down. Mind you, maybe it's just as well. That's military stuff. If anyone ever finds out... Then what's we... it doing on a scrapship computer? You're a civilian service, aren't you? You've got a point there. Orion Classification D7. What is this Orion business? Grash mentioned it earlier. He said I could be an android from the Orion War. Oh, no chance of that. There aren't any androids outside Orion. That's what Diva said. Why? You really are a strange one, aren't you? Grash? Grash, is that you? <coughs> androids and genetic constructs got outlawed, Doctor. Or rather, they outlawed themselves. What do you mean? Well, they started getting a bit uppity, demanding rights, saying they were as good as people, real people. Then they started forming their own tribunals, producing reports on maltreatment of non-human employees. And this led to a war? Yeah. The Tellurian authorities told them to pack it in or face the consequences. There were some ugly scenes, Doctor. Demonstrations, riots. And the trouble was the military couldn't tell the difference between people and androids. All sorts got killed. But why is the war in the Orion system? They gave up trying to get their rights. So the lot of them upped and left. Moved off to Orion. That's where most of them were made anyway. Weren't there any humans in Orion? Yeah. The androids gave them an ultimatum. Stay and accept androids as equals or leave. Most left. Some stayed. Of course, this was all against the Galactic Charter. And that's how the war started. About eight years ago now. And nobody's winning. It's a nasty business. What's that? What? I thought I saw something through the main viewport. I can't see anything. No. There was something in the distance, but it's gone now. If I had some decent power levels, I could do a long-range scan for you. Never mind, just show me where the Central Command computer terminal is on the security scan. You're not thinking... I of... am indeed. Ah, I see where it is. See you later. Here, take this communication in case you get lost. Thanks. Control deck. Go ahead. Uh, no. I've lost contact with her. Can you see her on the security scan? Uh, I don't know. I've got two figures closing on you. What? Can't you get any of the lights working? Not without a complete repatch. Hold on. I just picked up something else. It's that Cyberman. Come in, Vol. What are the Cybermen up to? I was just going to call you, ma'am. Uh, they've got another of those uh, door jigging contraptions. They must be planning to make a secondary airlock. Vol, follow my signal. Get to me as soon as you can. I think I'm going to need your help. Two humans now under cyber control. When the reception area is sealed, instruct the cyber force to enter the ship. Do now. The next left, I think.
Yes. There it is. Central Command Computer Terminal. Now for some advanced lock picking. Captain? Captain? Captain, it's Val. Over here. Keep your voice down. Any sign of Grash? No. I think he's playing cat and mouse with us. Ike? Ma? Give the doctor a gun and send him down here. We'll spread out and... Um... What is it? He... Uh, he's gone. Where to? Oh, don't bother. I can guess. Volt, sit tight. I won't be long. But where are we, uh... I see. Great. Easy as pie. Now then. You have been identified as the doctor. Have I now? Vol? Oh, blimey, Java. It frightened the life out of me. Any sign of crash? I'm not sure. I, I think I've found something. Back here. Come and have a look. Uh, well, uh, the captain told me... Just to... here, look. Hey, it's that cyber thing. I, I, I thought it was... Security breach is in progress. Alert. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Don't you worry about it, old thing. Oh, sorry about that. Now, are you going to talk to me? You have attained security clearance, but you have no security rating. I know, confusing, isn't it? Nevertheless, you won't be able to stop yourself telling me all about Orion Classification D7, will you? Affirmative. There's a good computer. Spill the beans, please. Orion Classification D7 security override. Sword of Orion. Very poetic. Earth Security Operative CGH 5 stroke 14 to assume identity of Star Core Scrap Ship Captain Diva Jansen, deceased 300507. Assume command of Scrap Ship Vanguard. Locate Star Destroyer. Reference pre flight report. Sightings locked by scrap ships Intrepid, Magenta, and Bulldog. Reference Security Intelligence Report 635A8912. State purpose of Operation Sword of Orion. Confirm military value of Cybermen in order to... I think that's enough snooping, Doctor. Oh, hello. Tell me, what do your friends call you? CGH or just plain 5 stroke 14? Shut up. Are you going to kill me? You're in that report too, Doctor. Oh, so that's how you knew about the TARDIS. I'm going to need your help. To recruit the Cybermen for your pathetic little war, you're mad. Captain Jensen? Sorry, she's dead. What? Go ahead, Ike. The Cybermen are on board. As far as I can gather, Vol, Drash and Chava let them in. All right, Ike. Now don't panic. Get an Atmos suit on and wait for us to come to you. Secondary airlock established. You three will be taken to our ship. Put on the support suits. Very well. Cyber control reports there are three other humans aboard. They must be found and captured. I studied military history. You were briefed, you mean, and I fell for it. Save your energy, Doctor. You're playing with fire. You realize that you can't tame Cybermen. I'm fully aware of what the Cybermen intend for us. So I suggest you concentrate your famous mental abilities on devising their destruction. Oh, the mission's over, is it, CGH? <coughs> That's it. 
What's that? The doctor was right. There is something out there. Here, doctor, you were... Oh, no! Resistance is useless. Look, 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 just kick back, right? All right, Ike. Yeah. Blimey, I thought I'd had it then. Here, doctor, you know earlier... When? But... Never mind that. Is there an alternative way out of the ship? What? What for? Because we're taking a spacewalk over to that Star Destroyer. You're joking. I don't usually point guns at people when I'm joking. She's serious, Ike. She's an Earth agent here to win the Orion War with Cybermen. Hey, shut it, Doctor. Well, Ike? Well, uh, there isn't another way out. Unless we depressurize the engine section, then open the maintenance hatch in the exhaust funnel. Sounds ingenious. But time-consuming and complicated. The power line's down that after, aren't you? Look out! You will surrender! They know we're here. Looks that way, doesn't it? That viewport is as good an exit as any. Helmets on. Hold on to something tight. You're not going to... An explosion has caused a pressure leak in the forward compartments of the human ship. The humans will have been ejected into space. I am unable to detect them. Oh my god, it's years since I've been in zero gravity. Stop whining and keep hold of the hull. Suddenly they seem to be following us, I wonder why. Well, maybe they think we're dead. I feel dead, but their scanners should be able to detect us. Keep moving. The security scanner is malfunctioning. There is an external influence. Instruct the cyber force to return. With the atmosphere evacuated from the human ship, if there are any survivors, they will be forced to board our ship before their oxygen supply runs out. Yes, Leah. Have the conversion chamber activated. There it is again. What? I was trying to tell you earlier. Cut the conversation, you two. I want to get to the transcom aerial, then into the cyber ship before our air runs out. Wait a minute, this could be vital. I'm not having a discussion, Doctor. Well, maybe you should. It strikes me you need all the tactical input you can get. Yeah. Luke, what was that? What Ike's been trying to tell us about, and what I caught a glimpse of earlier, another ion storm. Oh, if that hits while we're space waltzing, it's some way off yet. But even at this range, it'll be making a nonsense of the Cybermen's scanners. Computer analysis has identified external influence as an ion storm, similar in size and intensity to the one which crippled our ship whilst we were in hibernation. Cyber conversion of the humans must take place as soon as possible. The processes must be completed this time. Yes, leader. All security scanners have been rendered useless by ion interference. Secured in primary pods. Cyber control relinquished. Crash? Crash, is that you? Chopper, I can't move. But where are we? Uh... Engage primary phase. That's a distinct possibility, but time's short. And there's no other way in. Get it? I suggest the first thing we do when that door opens is to make our way to the TARDIS. The what? Why? We'll be safe there, and we can take stock of our situation. Oh dear. Can't say I'm surprised. Resistance is useless. Yeah, I think he's right. There are too many of them for us to start the shooting. I must see the cyber leader. Take me to him. 
You are to be cyber converted. He'll want to see me. Why? I... I have a proposition for him. And this is the Doctor, your most deadly enemy. I'm disappointed in you, Diva. We have computer records of your involvement in our affairs, Doctor. How entertaining. I love the happy endings, don't you? We have orders that you should be returned to Telos for brain analysis. Ah, know thine enemy. Are you planning a homecoming, then? I thought you were adrift. We will return to Telos eventually, when our mission is complete. How do you propose to do that with no engines? The ship was crippled by an ion storm, maybe centuries ago. We will find a way. Which is where I can help you. How can you help us? By offering you an alliance. Primary phase cyber conditioning completed. Prepare secondary phase neural integration. This human is experiencing emotional trauma. It is unsuitable for conversion. Then in return for our military assistance in your Orion War, you will effect the repairs to our ship. Those are the terms I'm authorized to offer. Blimey! You lot would certainly give those androids a kicking. They wouldn't know what had hit them. Yes, the Cybermen would become the Sword of Orion, eh, CGH? Cutting the androids down to size? What an easy solution to a problem entirely of humanity's own making. I'd never have expected you to be a supporter of the android hordes, Doctor. I'm not taking sides. I'm just naive enough to think that humans should face the consequences of their technological conceit. Not dig up some inhuman menace from history to do their dirty work. This moral discussion is irrelevant. Yeah, all moral discussion is irrelevant to you. So just listen for a moment, because I have a nice, practical, logical counter-proposition. You have a proposition? Ha! This I've got to hear. Your main problem is that over half your equipment isn't functioning properly. You have no means of propulsion and, I imagine, no interspatial weapons, or you'd have taken a few pot shots at us. Your suppositions are correct. Most of your key circuitry units have been burnt out by ion disruption. You're lucky your freezer isn't up the spout. Your proposition, Doctor. Out there, as I imagine you already know, is another ion storm. Perhaps it's the same one come to finish the job. Either way, it's an immediate, imminent threat. And if you think you can close your eyes, pop off back to the land of Nod, and ride out the storm this time, you're making a big mistake. All the systems are protected. By what? Rice paper and sticky tape? You're on emergency lighting? The doors don't work? You had to revive yourselves one at a time because the dehibernator was kaput. Remember, I've been to your ice tomb on Telos. The cyber race went into hibernation because its supply of parts and energy was depleted. Well, this may be a monster of a ship, a star destroyer for scrap ship captains to shy away from. But it was thrown together in a desperate bid to expand cyber influence while the home planet lay dormant. Another ion storm, and you may never wake up again. Our superiority is unquestionable. Oh, yes. You're incredibly strong, impervious to most forms of firepower, and quite free from the constraints of conscience and morality. But can you deny anything of what I've said? What is your proposition? Use my irrational, illogical ingenuity. I may be able to rig up some kind of force shield to protect this ship. In return, you must release the humans in the conversion chamber and guarantee our safety. Your proposition is meaningless. The vital systems of this ship are indestructible. We will survive the storm. Take the other humans to the conversion chamber. Ah! Get off me! You... Secure the doctor for freezing. What is happening? The outer arms of the Ion Storm are just beginning to find their mark. Ion disruption of vital system. Activate emergency shielding. Power unstable. Stabilize it immediately. Confidence fading a little, isn't it? Secure him. Doctor, get down. What? Stop him at once. Run for it. Come on. Stop. 
There's nothing we can do for him now. Where did you land your TARDIS? Uh, uh, I think it's this way. You better be right. Proximity ion field has dispersed, leader. Main body of storm is still approaching. Divert all power reserves to emergency shields. The power supply is unstable due to damage sustained. The doctor was right then. This place is a load of junk. Take him to the conversion chamber. Ah, God! Where? Where is it? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I'm sure this is the place. Look out! Diva, behind you! Are you all right? Here. Let me see. Keep away from me. Oh, but you're hurt. The the blood almost looks real, doesn't it? What? Let me see that wound. But your fibrous nerve tissue. You should see the factories in Orion where they weave the stuff. You're an android. I even even had you fooled. But that's the point, isn't it? What's the difference? What are you doing? Injecting bonding fluid. Ah, uh, running repairs. Then you're not here to make a deal with the Cybermen. That wasn't even Earth Security's intention. History's taught them not to trust the Cybermen. I was buying time. Your outrage blinded you. But the Central Command Computer Terminal! I'd already confirmed the military value of the Cybermen. My mission was to obtain details of the cyber conversion process. The humans would really go that far? To win the war? Yes. The High Command will grab any chance of breaking the stalemate, even turning whole regiments of humans into cybernetic troopers. Emotionless, totally obedient, virtually unstoppable. So what's your real mission? The same one Earth Security gave me, except the information comes back to Orion with me. Perhaps prisoners of war can be put to good use. Now, since I'm just about able to walk again, I suggest you try to remember where your TARDIS really is. I have remembered. It really was here. Uh, that storm's getting closer, along with the hour of reckoning, I'd say. Noisy neighbours! You mean the TARDIS has gone? Uh, yes. Are we still here? Do you think the Cybermen have taken it? Either that or the HADs have gone into premature operation. The what? The Hostile Action Displacement System. And if that's the case, something very nasty is about to happen to this ship. Where are you going? I've got a mission to complete. Ion disruption increasing. Emergency shield still holding. Remain here and initiate rehibernation process. I will supervise cyber conversion and the termination of the human agent and the doctor. What of the human's proposition? We cannot trust humans. We must continue with our mission. This is the conversion chamber. Keep quiet. Ah, uh, get, get, get off me, you... Engage primary phase. Out of here! Oi! What? what are you doing? Captain! Humans! None of you move, or I'll destroy the conversion units. I'll get Ike out of this thing. You stay where you are, Doctor. What happened to Grash? I mean this one. This human was unsuitable for cyber conversion. The other two are undergoing physical cybernetic replacement. Captain? It's too late now. I wouldn't dream of interrupting. Continue the process. What are you doing? This isn't human! human. I'm carrying out my mission as instructed by Earth Security. They're prepared to see this process inflicted on their own kind, Doctor. Remember that. I, as the humans, will be the first to point out, am not human. Subhuman, as they will call it. 
Why should I care? I thought your war was about proving your equality. I didn't realize that meant identifying yourself with the lowest traits of humanity. It's very difficult to strive for moral superiority when all you feel is hatred for those who've committed atrocities against your own kind. Let me tell you something. After the first riots, the human authorities ordered the phase decommissioning of androids. Do you know how you decommission an android, Doctor? You shoot it. Sounds like a bad joke, doesn't it? I've no doubt Grash would have thought it was funny. What are you doing, human? Ah, yeah, do join us, Cyber Leader. Don't move. This gun owes its effectiveness to Tobias Vaughan's efforts back in the 20th century. So you know what it can do to you. You are not attempting to save your friends. On the contrary, she's observing their suffering with the determination of a Cyberman. It is a complex process, merely observing. I'm not a human, Cyber Leader. I'm a security android. The lenses and computers are all here in my head. Secondary phase beginning. Neural integration. Please! You... you you've got to stop them! Doctor! Diva! This isn't the way! You lot would certainly give those androids a kicking. Isn't that what you said, Ike? <laughs> you can't hold Ike responsible for... <laughs> ah! Diva! Diva! Oh. I ought to leave you trapped under this lot. Oh. But... Oh. Can you walk? Yes. Where's the cyber leader? He's probably blown to kingdom come like his underlings. My gun, where is it? Is this what you're looking for? I think I'll keep hold of it for now. I must say, I never would have imagined being grateful for Tobias Vaughan. Now, I take it your master spy plan included some kind of escape route? Well? There's a shuttle in the storage bay of Vanguard. Oh, wonderful. I've always wanted to take a space walk through an ion storm. Come on. Doctor. Doctor. I can't. Can Ike? Can you get, get me out of here? Not a chance. You're already halfway to becoming a Cyberman. Thank you for those few kind words. Is that true? Yes, I'm very much afraid. Then kill me. What? You... you don't know how this feels. It's worse, worse than death. Well, Doctor? Wouldn't it be the humane thing to do? I... don't... Come on. Get your helmet on. The airlock's this way. This is it. Disappointed you failed to accomplish your mission? Help me with the door. I have enough information for our scientists to work on. But I have a feeling neither of us are going to survive this storm. Which is a pity. I'm sure they'll find another sword for Orion. I wasn't thinking of me. The universe will miss you, Doctor. That's uncommonly... <laughs> The Cyber Leader! Without this weapon, you are hopeless. I've never been impressed by the flexing of muscles, hydraulic or otherwise. You are to be frozen and taken to Telos, Doctor. We have no need for this android. I will destroy her. What's the point? If you think you're taking anything back to Telos, let alone me... Silence! This is Journey's End, Cyber Leader, for all of us. Then why are you attempting to escape? Hope! Because we're people, not machines. We prefer to die trying. The viewport! Look, Vanguard's exploded! And now you have lost all hope. The walls! She's breaking up! My oxygen tank! Ah! Ah!